first off tonight, for Chicago Public School students, it's possible to go from kindergarten to high school and never have a black man as a teacher. According to CPS data, fewer than 4% of CPS teachers are black men, and in a school district where 36% of students are black, that is a striking imbalance. Nationwide, the figure is even lower, just 2%. Last fall, three Chicago high schools instituted a pilot program to address that imbalance. The Intro to Urban Education curriculum is designed to encourage young black and Latino men to envision themselves at the head of the class. Joining us with more on how it works are Mila Kumpalova, who reported on the pilot program for Chalk Beach, Chicago, Troy LaRavier, head of the Chicago Principals and Administrators Association, and Iona Calhoun-Batiste, Senior Director of Programs at Thrive Chicago, which administers the program. Thanks to all three of you for joining us. Troy Ravier, why don't we see more black male teachers? I prefer to look at it from a root cause analysis. It's like looking at a corporation with an epidemic of sexual harassment and saying, why don't we see more women here? Well, we, without dealing with the fact that there's an epidemic of sexual harassment, we have to look at there's an epidemic of systemic racism in CPS. CPS is on record, exposed by WBEZ, if I remember correctly, of weeding out, having a program to weed out black teachers until it was exposed and they had to get rid of it. They did, created a program similar to that to weed out black and Latino principals that still exists today called the principal eligibility policy. You look at the difference in investment in curriculum offered in schools where the students are majority middle class and white versus what curriculum and investments are in schools that are attended by black students. Look at Harriet Tubman School in Limbloom and what's happening to their black principals right now versus what CPS did to the white principal at Jones. With the white principal at Jones, they did what they were supposed to do and handled it properly. They handled the black principals at Tubman and Limbloom as if they were guilty before even investigated. So if I'm a student and I see this, I experience this uh, inequity in curriculum, I see how black men and black women are treated when they become educators by this and, district. Well, Who's enjoy. more likely to become an educator? And of course, you know, before you moved over uh, to the Chicago Principals and Administrators Association, you were a principal. Before that, you were a teacher. What was it that made you um, want to get into the teaching profession at the time that you did? My girlfriend, Margaret. I was in the Navy and I didn't want to do uh, college. I didn't want to get in. I didn't want to do anything involving where I had to go to college. I didn't think I'd be successful. But my girlfriend, who went to Whitney Young, who went to the University of Illinois, when I got out of the Navy, she made me go to college. Uh, and then I read the autobiography of Malcolm X and was extremely inspired by that. Uh, and once I did really well in college, I looked at my experience as a CPS student and thought, I almost didn't go to college. What was it about my experience in CPS that made me have such a low assessment of myself? Here I am with straight A's at the University of Illinois and thought I'd fail out. What, what was it about CPS that gave me this low assessment of myself. So I decided to become a teacher so that I could go into CPS and change it for other students who didn't have the Margaret that I had. And then I realized it's not about just teachers. There's a systemic thing happening here that I had to address, which is why I eventually took the path that led me to the presidency of this association. Okay, so uh, of course, you know, that's one that's one success story. Not every student is going to have that. Um, Iona, would you give us an idea of, of what the intro to urban education curriculum looks like? Sure. It's it consists of eight units. And let me just go back and say that this cur curriculum was created by administrators, educators, community partners, um, individuals who have expertise in education. And so this curriculum is, is uh, broken into eight different units in which it takes um, students through a general understanding of who they are, their history, um, background content, and understanding of Chicago, um, understanding of Chicago communities, and then it very specifically goes into understanding the school system and school environments, um, how one is able to use uh, knowledge um, to execute power, to inspire others, etc. The really the best thing about this curriculum that I find is going to be really fun this year is that young men are going to be able to um, steward and have and run their own classrooms for at least two to three weeks this year. Um, and so we're really excited in seeing those that want to step up to the challenge um, and how they and how they feel before they uh, instruct a classroom of younger peers 
and then how they feel afterwards. Yeah. Um, it would really be telling to us. A little bit of early student teaching, it sounds like. Uh, Mila, how did the pandemic underscore the need for more black male teachers? Um, we here at Chalk Beach Chicago have done um, quite a bit of reporting over the past couple of years on the pandemic's disproportionate impact on black and Latino boys and young men, really widening disparities in attendance, grades, uh, college enrollment, and other outcomes that were already some of the widest um, historically, both here in Chicago and nationally. So we, um, as part of that reporting, try to follow up and really look at what are some of the solutions? What are ways that um, school systems can address this disproportionate impact? And this idea of bringing in more male teachers of color and really stepping up efforts to also retain them once um, schools hire them uh, was really coming up again and again and again. Uh, Iona, what can schools do for their black students now that will allow them to see teaching as, as a future possibility for them? Think about the, um, the, the system and the environments in which they're creating. Um, making, sure, making sure that we have um, young black males that have see themselves, that have role models there in the schools. Um, having an opportunity for males uh, males of color to talk about things that are happening in their community and then showing them the pathways forward, right? Everyone is not going to be an educator and we understand that, but everyone should have a pathway forward after they, after they um, matriculate and graduate through high school. And we and hope that our curriculum does that. Troy, we've got 30 seconds. What role do principals play in hiring teachers uh, and how can principals uh, help with recruiting more? Principals get a key role in hiring teachers uh, and they have to cast a broad net, but principals and all stakeholders have to get involved in helping to determine the political leadership that creates the inequities that they have to work against. We don't want to have to work against these inequities in order to bring these folks. We want these inequities gone. And that means a, a, a mayor, a school board, and a CEO that actually believes in black and brown children. Okay, a lot of work to do. Uh, my thanks to the three of you for joining us. Mila Kumpalova, Iona Calhoun-Batiste, and Troy LaRavier. Thank you.